All right. Oh, that. Remember buttons again. I don't know if Q did that. What red meant kill? That safety would be off. Hmm. Where did I start? To avoid exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta uh hold F and No. Now I just lost all three of my magazines. Get up again. Had a good load out there. For in here. Um Getting the controls because we know with this one, yeah, it was F. So I guess that doesn't work for, uh, like, say, this gun. Maybe I just have to push. Can you? Safety off. Safety on. No. So if you actually. I guess you gotta have the safety on before you put it away, I guess, for at least this gun. Yeah, this way. But basically, what I'm trying to do. What I'm doing is this. Because if you got it caught and you holster, you'll shoot yourself. Um, actually, what am I doing? I don't even need to. Yeah. So, see, like, if you do. Yeah, I didn't shoot. But if, as long as you're holding F. So you're fine. If you don't hold F, uh, uh 
Okay, maybe I just ended up finding a bug. Because, yeah, if you cock it back and put it away, you shoot yourself. So I guess you just gotta remember this gun. As if you got it ready, you know, to fire, just gotta have safety on. Okay. I don't have any ammo. Oh, God. Boombox. <laughs> One night, Amy and I were watching an old black and white movie at her place. We never watched or read anything from the last 50 years. About halfway in, she dozed off. I pretended to get up to use the restroom, snuck into the hall, and carefully lifted one of the advance tapes from her purse. I grabbed my, my pack and ducked into the bathroom. Inside my pack, I had brought a double cassette boombox with high-speed dubbing. The tapes are usually pretty short, so it only took a few minutes to dub the first part of side A to a blank tape. I finished rewinding her tape and put my gear back in my pack, so I opened up the door to find Amy standing right there in the gap. Rolling her eyes. In a disordered mind, fear and doubt will often attach itself to whatever events are happening at that moment. These misattributed, diverted feelings can become habitual, compounding the problem of accurate thinking. This leads to confusion, impaired decision-making, and more anxiety in a damaging feedback loop. By grounding thoughts in the present, one can escape this feedback loop. Where are you? What time and year is it? Who are you? What are you doing at this exact moment? What do you see? What do you hear? What do you really hear? Headphones. 
Before we went, Amy leveled with me. The mine kill, the threat, mine tech, all of it. On the outside, the rec center looked like any other mixed-use commercial building from the 80s. But inside, it looked like a training camp. I wasn't entirely ready to accept any everything I had learned, but I also wasn't ready to give up this new life. Seeing people organized, training, moving as one, this is something I knew from the, uh, the tree. I knew I could help. The next day, while waiting for the bus, a person ran up to me and tore off my headphones, screaming at me, apparently according to social media, using a tape player in public had become the secret symbol of an anti-handicap hate group. I had to keep my tape player out of sight after that. Pumpkin. Don't come in the garage. Call your mommy. She will know uh, what to do. Please, please don't go in the garage. It's, it's off limits. Love, Daddy. in the threat recovery tape with the full story. Uh. When Bob returned from his second tour, he found it even harder to reintegrate to civilian life. I didn't realize he started that. feeling like his life insurance would give his family more value than his presence, he started to lock up his sidearm and ammo separately. When the threat tried to kill him with carbon monoxide, it failed barely. As he resumed his receiver training, he began to realize how important he was to his family and, and how hard it was to almost lose him. He started to see how deeply connected he was to his web of reality, no matter how alone he felt and, and how painful it would be for everyone if the threat tore him out of that web. He learned to see the value in being a stay-at-home dad and eventually wrote a popular book on the subject, drawing funny and insightful comparisons between parenting and soldiering. Ooh. I don't think the gun like does help.
We're rolling through glass. Oh, I even just completely disabled it. Cooper's third rule of gun safety is to keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on the target. There are many physiological reactions that can cause your hand to uh, tighten involuntarily. If your finger is on the trigger and you're surprised or stumble or tighten the other hand, the gun will fire and make a hole in whatever it's pointed at. This is especially important when drawing or holstering. Like takeoffs and landings in aircraft, this is when most accidents occur. If your attention wanders for a second and you try to holster your gun without removing your finger from the trigger, you will shoot yourself in the leg. If you are trying to draw quickly, you can easily grab the trigger and shoot yourself in the leg. Experiences are feelings connected to events. If an event that creates negative feelings happens often enough or is especially intense, it can create a phobic reaction. Even after distancing oneself from these events, these phobic elements can persist. Thoughts flow from one to the next, like water flowing down a river. And like water flowing, these thoughts can carve through stone. I think that's the last one right there. Time. Trauma is like a boulder in the river. And over time, a correct sequence of thoughts can cut and shape it, eventually allowing the thoughts to pass safely and smoothly around them. Past events that have caused recurring nope. negative thoughts and emotions are called one more. mental nope, that's trauma. The last one. This was often the result of a sudden shift in perception. The building blocks of our self-concept are ideas about the world and our place in it. <laughs> when these ideas turn out to be false, it causes a chain reaction that can threaten every aspect of our oh, life. I uh, didn't even realize bottom right hand corner while shows how many tapes. One brick from a tower can cause it to collapse. That does not mean that the problem was widespread. It was a failure in a single element. This demonstrates how critical each belief is and how finding and removing false beliefs early can prevent a catastrophic chain reaction. I guess I should shoot the last one. But then you don't get to hear it. Yeah. New receiver being achieved. Wait a minute. Huh? No, look. That seemed different. I think. Huh. I, whatever. Okay, let's not shoot myself again. Wait, it's the same gun. What? Oh, it isn't. It's slightly different. I didn't get the... Oh. That's interesting. I think it's a different gun.
you. Oh, it does a random select. I see. I see. Okay, so just going on to the next. Okay, I get it. That last time, okay. There we go. How do I check the chamber? RNG. Well, no T and R. I wasn't supposed to go this way. So, one in the chamber. How do I? Um. So I can put in that one. did that. Safety was on! By holding back, quote, or make sure the weapon is in safe condition. It was! By holding back. So... Let's make sure my guy has energy before I pull it out again. If you really want to be sure that a gun will fire when you pull the trigger, you need to do a press check. Make sure your finger is off the trigger and pull back the slide with your supporting hand. Uh, calm down, John Wick. Just enough to see if there's a cartridge in the chamber. If there is, make sure the slide goes back into battery. This means the gun is ready. If not, you can just keep pulling the slide back all the way and then release it to strip around from the magazine. Then repeat the check in case your mag spring is damaged and failed to feed or is fitted incorrectly.
I need to unlock that gun. Because obviously this gun doesn't simulate the same way. There's a magazine in it. See, this one I could just push tab with the safety on. No, I can't. Okay, so even if safety's off, then the best thing to do is to hold, keep holding tab. But on this one, though, if it's in safe condition, it doesn't matter. There must be something different about that other gun. I'll have to wait until I get that gun. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing Insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you That's will a lot of nuts. out and eventually counteract the nuts. negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have now taken there's the a first true receiver step towards awakening your Blade. true self. The media is a threat. Uh-huh. Why 
wise guy, wise guy. And a wise guy. So is this game enough action and explosions and all that mumbo jumbo that you were asked for last weekend? Huh? Or is it still too tiring? Either way, how are you doing? Was that turn somewhere up there? I think there's one in there. What do you mean this doesn't seem exciting? I mean, this is way better than Junk R6. My bunghole will not wait! I mean, if you want me to go play some Junk R6, I mean... No. Uh, wait, wait. I mean, if you want boring, I'll show you boring. Look at that! Peekaboo! 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 I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it on my thing. Peekaboo! <laughs> uh, is that the new one? Yeah. This one was kind of fun and also kind of awkward. Or awful. Took me plenty of hits to discover this. Ouch. But it's a good one. Good. Good one. Okay, get this. Turns can run out of ammo. Yep, no idea why, but there it is. Thing to do is to play peekaboo with them. Goes like this: peek your head out, get shot at, hide until the damn thing loses its head. Bed, bed, bead, bed, bead. Ah, oh, yeah. Rinse, lather, repeat. What the hell does that even mean? And eventually, the socket runs dry. I mean. It'll look all angry and fierce, but you can tell it's empty because its light goes red when it's out of ammo. My goose. <sighs> there is a gun range in this. There is a gun range. And you know what I mean? This is... It is fun. It is fun. It is fun. The controls are, uh, uh, different. And it's challenging. You know, this ain't, uh, this ain't no kid's game. It's 
Not a kid's game. Start singing. Probably this way. My legs. I need my flashlight. There it is. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You just realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued. A I guess yeah, that's it. Tapes that are you're just. I guess you're just not ready to become a receiver. Advancing insight by continually listening to these. Drown out. See and skill, skill, mad skills. The negative influences from your environment. Mad skills. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. Ooh. The hell, this is a small one. So what happens if I get to the red? I don't know what happens if I would have let that get all the way to red. Maybe it repairs itself. I bet it blows up. There we go. What is the fundamental characteristic of balance? A stone perfectly balanced doesn't move. It is this precarious lack of motion, but with so much potential that's remarkable. Now, to balance the mind, one needs to bring ideas and feelings into alignment where they are neither random nor stagnant equally outward and inward it's a hair neither entirely positive nor negative within this i, I fire one round because i'm that good because i got skill potential skill failure to find balance results in a chain reaction of cascading thoughts and feelings like a stone falling out of place running into the next with no end and no control. Where is it? Where are you? Uh, there it is. U.S. Marine Colonel Jeff Cooper's first rule of gun safety is that guns Cooper. are always loaded. Even if you've just unloaded it seconds ago or... I don't, I, I don't own it. Treat it as it's too much. Too loaded. much for a game that's... Eh. You may know that it's... Empty, I mean, but I mean must practice it's your mind definitely better than Junk R6 from what I see, but... At once. Unless you are I don't know. Seeing and feeling Still seems a little empty. buggy the for the price, so... Kind of going to wait for it to be on sale. In that state, if you point it at a kill drone and fire, the threat will collapse that waveform into an empty Ooh, chamber. Where did I come from? This way. Click instead of a bang. If your kid no, finds the same way. gun and points it at another kid, the threat will collapse that waveform into a loaded chamber, leading to a bang instead of a click. Never, ever let the threat make this kind of decision for you. Right. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna. I definitely want to get uh, ready or not. I should have got it like when it was uh, like twenty five bucks or something. 
didn't realize that this was that was gonna actually be a game that was gonna go up as high as it did, but. Ooh. Oh shit! Too shaggy. All right, we gotta get closer. Ah, uh, you don't own it. Well, then why are you telling me to play Rain or Down if you don't if you haven't even played it? And then you don't know how difficult that game is. What in the? Yeah, I could do the peekaboo. Could do the peekaboo. Could do the peekaboo. My bunghole will not wait! That took way too many rounds. Alright, like this one I can't hit the thing. This ain't good. Okay, good. Body and mind are linked. Physical actions are a manifestation of mental actions. Thus, training to protect the body also protects the mind. Controlling your environment controls your thoughts. You, your body, and your environment are part of a larger whole. Control your thoughts. Control your body, control your environment, and control your fate. I'm standing in front of that. Oh, I'll take it.
Sorry. Are you going to be up through this wall or upstairs? So, okay, so then if we want to skip this last thing that we've been hearing all the time. You just shoot it. Ah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I do better with this gun so far than the other one. Finding these weird encrypted messages. Maybe there's a clue from the same peeps who send us bullets and guns. Hack the planet, baby. 
<laughs> Seriously, what is up with the stuff? No. I didn't know if that was like if you change the letters around that would make a word but some kind of secret use letters you just saw that grab something Nothing. was wrong I am not alone while well, I am kind of but I'm finding things that have clearly been left behind by other receivers notes messages so there must be others but where the heck are they I have to find them well we know bloody's not a receiver It's okay though, it's okay, it's okay. He's just joining the junk cash club, that's all. Together, we have laid the foundation. You have shown great potential, but the potential is yet to be realized. We have sent the message. We hear it. There is an insidious force moving through your media, weakening the mind and causing widespread dysfunction. We call this the threat. We have developed a technique called Mind Tech to combat this threat. A new set of tapes has been issued to train and prepare you.
That was different. I think we got one of those flying drones. Nothing hidden over there. Well, on a note today, and unlike the other notes from fellow receivers, this one talks about encrypted messages. This has upset me a lot. Why are receivers keeping secrets from each other? What is it that some of us aren't allowed to know? This has never come up in training. Why would we need to write coded messages unless something we are doing is dishonest or wrong? Are receivers de deceivers? Deceivers, that's what we got among us. Junk cash and blood, you're deceivers. I understand. I disable you. Isn't this where I shot the voting one? That one's sleeping. Maybe that one was sleeping. Yeah, because I gotta backtrack. Oh shit!
Do I mean anything? Chuck! I got sidetracked of where I was at. I killed those one things. Thought I had to come back down. No, no, that's about right. That's not good. We got a sleeper. I guess before I eat, let's check out Bloody's other game. Or Bloody's game. As soon as I... Okay. Okay. 